Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Daddy. Merry Christmas. Uh uh, what kind of voice is that? <coughs> Merry Christmas. Glad I got my hair on. Jaden. 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 Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. So we're making Christmas breakfast. Here is the cinnamon roll casserole. And it looks even better than before. Yes, and I'll have to link the uh, recipe in the description box. Here's the eggs. Egg. We got some bacon, bacon. And then this is for later. This is a roast. This is, this is mother's roast. Roast them. So it's gonna be good. So the kids opened up all their gifts. Ju, what did you get? I got wireless headphones. I got a new phone. I got a Fitbit. <laughs> Yo, let's go on and on. I know. Um, I got an Xbox. Well, charging for station us, for the both of us. Me yeah. and Jaden. Mm -hmm. I got basketball and football trading card. Um. You got shoes. I got shoes. Gum. Gum. Mints. Mints. You got um, all kinds of goodies. Gift cards. Gift cards. Wallet. Wallet. Are you good? You straight. Jaden, what did you get for Christmas? Um, I got Pokemon cards. Um, a oh, necklace, necklace. A chain. I mean, with a football on it. Mm hmm. Yeah. And um, some shoes. Mm hmm. And um, some dragons. Some dragons. Yes. Yes, that's a game, by the way, with some little dragons. And I you got, got some Nerf. Um. Tactical yeah. gear. Oh yeah. Oh. And, and um, um, Target. Yes, of course. And what? No, yeah, <laughs> I'm in a, a Nerf Target, but yes, the Target gift card, you got that too. <laughs> and what else? Oh, a watch. Oh, yeah. <laughs> a watch. Oh, and you got that, that look, the, the LeBron and the Miles. The and the um, shoes. Thing, and the shoes. Y'all don't need nothing else. Until March, December, Until birthdays. your birthday is. Even if, even then, like, I'm not sure. Okay, what do you have to do? So you get your onion and your bacon. Okay, you put a little olive oil, olive in, oil in there and some seasoning salt and some pepper and you saute this together. And you're gonna add this to your string beans. And we gotta use uh, some chicken broth. This chicken broth, you cook it in chicken broth, right? But we're gonna saute this together. This adds more flavor to your beans, right? Okay, so we're gonna work on this. You need a, uh, a spoon or something, yes? Well, where's that soft spoon? Soft spoon, you know, the spatula spoon, that's a good bacon juice. Mm -hmm. Saute this together. Give it some good flavor. See. And this is when you don't have no, you know, turkey tails or some uh, uh, ham hocks or something to put in there. You just get a little pork bacon, some onion, and some olive oil. And you saute it, and it's going to give your green beans a good flavor. These are for the, uh, what am I making? Yam. Yeah. I got to cut those up. This is how it should look. And then the, um, chicken broth is in there. Yeah. Getting ready to add it over? Or not uh -oh. yet? Yeah. Okay. Oil and all. Yeah. Olive oil, so it's a good healthy oil. We mix 
Okay, we got our yams getting ready. We put the, oh, the sauce. We haven't put the sauce on yet. Here's the sauce. Uh, we, we, we cooking the sauce. This is the orange juice, brown sugar, white sugar, cinnamon, nutmeg, and butter. And we gonna get this nice and hot and let it thicken up and pour it over the yams. Yes. Hallelujah. Now I'm putting water in here for mac and cheese. Stay tuned. Okay, so we're making mac and cheese. The first thing you want to do is boil the noodles. This is like a pound and a quarter of noodles here. And I'm going to be putting it in this foil pan. So they're pretty much ready to go. I'm going to test out a couple and see. Okay, once you drain your noodles, put them in the pan. Let me focus, focus, all right. So I cut a stick of butter in half for the cheese sauce. So use the other half of the butter for in here. You wanna butter up these noodles. Then you wanna salt and pepper them. Salt and pepper to taste. You want to taste the seasoning on there. Do not proceed without salt and peppering the noodles please okay I'll show you what it'll look like after so you're gonna mix in excuse the game in the back y'all they watching the NBA game but you're gonna mix in all the butter try to get it to melt it's melting slow because I rinsed my noodles off and they're kind of cooling down but that's fine um, once I pour the cheese sauce it'll melt some more but I started putting salt and pepper and you really want to start with a little and then keep adding from there because you can't take away if you add too much and it's really based on how much you're making so i don't have a, a measurement but you want to taste it and see if it's to your liking so i definitely need more seasoning because you can't even see the pepper really on there so i'm gonna pepper this some more and then i'm gonna add some more salt and like you can salt a little you can salt a lot it's to your preference I like it to be well seasoned not overly seasoned but well seasoned okay so now it's all seasoned I could probably add a little bit more pepper and I probably will I ended up adding a little seasoning salt in there because the salt the sea salt that I have was not getting it to my liking and then I ended up doing a whole stick of butter instead of just half because of the amount that I have so it really varies based on that if you had like half of this amount then I would say half a stick otherwise a whole stick so now we're going to move on to their cheese sauce okay for the cheese sauce you want to start with a half a stick of butter and you let that melt down and then we're going to add in some flour once that melts down. Okay, and then once your butter melts, you're gonna put like a teaspoon of flour in there. I don't put a lot because it can come out very like grainy tasting. So you whisk that around. I may add just a little bit more, but we'll see how this does. We're gonna whisk this up. And you want to have your milk already poured and ready to pour in here. So we're going to whisk it. Yeah, I might add just a little bit more. I'm going to turn my heat down just a little bit more so we don't burn it. And I'm going to add just a little bit more. Maybe like a half a teaspoon. Cause sometimes it can come out some people put a lot of flour and it comes out really flour like that grainy taste I don't like that and here's when you can decide how much flour you want to add if you want it to actually clump up then you can I might add just a little bit more 
Okay. My milk is already measured. I got about three fourths a cup. That's whole milk. Some people use half and half, uh, heavy whipping cream or just whipping cream. I just use whole milk to get all that, all the fat in the milk. And then I'm gonna slowly pour in the milk. get a large pan while the milk warms up these are the cheeses I'm gonna add this is about uh, what's it I think four four tablespoons or two tablespoons of cream cheese this is eight ounces of Alveda cheese sharp cheddar this is from um, store brand of smart and final and then I have cheddar jack don't use Walmart store brand cheese. Their cheese has plastic. You've got to use quality cheese like Tullamuck cheese, Sargento, and then this cheese also is good. I looked at the ingredients, but it melts. The Walmart brand does not melt. You will not get it to melt at all if you're making a cheese sauce. All right, so I added in the cream cheese first. You want it to be kind of softened. Come on, focus, focus. Focus camera. There we go. Add in the cream cheese first. You want it to be a little, uh, you want it to be softened. This one was only like semi softened, but that's okay. Cause it'd clump up, but don't worry about that. Just keep mixing. And then after this, we'll add in the Velveeta and let that melt. Okay, so you see how the cream cheese is kind of clumpy. This is what I meant by that. So that's that's fine. Don't get paranoid about that. It's still gonna melt at some point in the process. So I cut up my Velveeta into cubes. So we're gonna start adding that and letting that melt. And that's it. Just cutting it into cubes will help it melt better. Sometimes I'll put the cubes throughout the noodles too and that'll give it some creamy bites and sometimes I don't even use Velveeta at all so this time I wanted to use it just to get it a little bit more creamier okay so this is what it'll look like after the Velveeta is melted the cream cheese is still trying to melt but it's already a little thicker so now we're gonna add handfuls of sharp cheddar. And the flavor of the sharp cheddar is really good. So I'm just gonna start with a handful at a time. And mix it in. And then it'll start thickening. Now we're gonna add some of the other cheese. The cheddar jack. Mostly I use the cheddar jack for on top. But I also put some in there.
It's really gonna be thick. Watch your temperature so you don't burn it. And this is what we're gonna pour over the noodles. Look how thick that is. ready to get poured. I'm gonna pour it all over. I'm gonna mix it in. I had to play with this recipe a few times to figure out how I like it. I think I'm gonna like it this way. Make sure you get the corners. Then you smooth out the top so you can put all the cheese on top. Alright, I'm gonna first put some sharp on top on top of the whole thing. Because sharp is my favorite. the rest check, check. and you're gonna cover this I bake it on 350 for about a half hour and then I uncover it and let the cheese kind of brown up and melt real good So you gotta put a lot of cheese on top because that cheese gonna just seep down into the noodles. So it'll look pretty scarce and get the edges. Cover it with foil. This is what it looks like after you take off the foil. So now we're gonna cook it for about 15 more minutes or until that darkens up, browns up a little more on top. Okay, here's our finished mac and cheese. 
See how brown it is around the edges? Yes. Let's cut into it or scoop into it. See how cheesy it is. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. That's exactly how we want it to look, you guys. Perfect. Can't wait to eat it. So that's that. I'm going to put some um, other information in the description box, but that is how I make my mac and cheese. All right, you guys. Enjoy. Enjoy.